of a different unboxing because I'm gonna focus only on my Evangelion figures and stuff I got this month. I don't know why, but on June, I ended up getting like a lot of Evangelion stuff. It was very monothematic. It was not on purpose, but I'm not complaining. I really like Evangelion. It's one of my favorite series and I'm very happy with the stuff I got. I was planning on doing like, you know, a monthly haul, including other figures from other series I got, for example, like Karagatu Sakura, Maoka Mahika, and Your Light in April. But the problem is that I unboxed the first two figures, the Evangelion ones, and they're posable mechas. So they actually took me so long to open and pose and put the little accessories on them that I felt like I wanted to give them their own moment so we're gonna focus only on the Evangelion stuff for today and I'm gonna be uploading another video with the rest of the anime stuff, manga recommendations, all that good stuff later this week <laughs> Let's start with the figures. Yes, I got for the first time pre-owned Ami Ami figures. That was the first time I ever browsed with, you know, uh, actually with the intention of buying something. I always went to the pre-owned Ami Ami section and I got overwhelmed by the amount of pages because there were like 30 different pages. But this time, you know, I sit down, I check them all. <laughs> And I saw these two Evangelion mecha that I felt in love with. One of them was like maybe my figure grail or whatever. Like I've been wanting it for a long time and I'm very happy I got it for, you know, a decent price. I got this Dine Action figure for around 15,000 yen on Ami Ami pre-owned. The price difference with a brand new figure was not that much, but I am very happy with what I got, especially since it looked completely sealed. First things first, the figure is enormous. It's around 40 centimeters tall, which immediately makes it a big ball in your collection. The plastic is good quality and the amount of movement you can do is incredible. It's literally a dream for an Evangelion fan or photographer since you can do a, a lot of great dynamic poses for pictures. It doesn't come with a lot of accessories, so the pricey tag is all about the size. I literally spent an hour unboxing this and playing with poses, but for the sake of not doing a super extra long video, I'll just show you some clips of the unboxing and my reaction. Oh my god, he's like new. Like literally new. He even has the plastics behind this. Doesn't look like pre-owned to me. Damn, he's actually so tall. Can you see how tall he is? He's so tall. Look. Me and my new boyfriend. Mwah. What is this? Oh my god, look! It comes with a miniature. So small. Can you even see? It's like a person. Can you tell? It's like a miniature person. And I wonder if you put it in comparison to this. <laughs> like, can you even see? Is this supposed to be on scale? Holy shit! You can open it. I wish I knew Japanese right now. Some nice karate chop. Oh my god, you can pose him like this. Like, he's gonna fucking karate you. Like, damn. You can even open the mouth. <gasps> that looks sick. Look at that. He's fucking ready for some karate action. Would you fight this guy? Would you fight him? Look at that. He looks awesome. <laughs> he's gonna... He looks awesome. He's gonna, like, fight someone. He looks so cool. You can well make him like running. I was thinking of doing that pose. You can make him crouching with the knife. He looks like he's gonna rob your phone or something. All right, I left this guy here for now. So you guys see a size comparison with this other Eva I got. I got this metal build uh, Eva Zero Two. I already have a metal build. Like I said, I own this Code Geass metal build and I absolutely love it. That's why I got this one because this is actually one of like the figures I wanted the most. I don't want to say one of my grails, but it's really one of those figures that I really wanted and I couldn't get anywhere for like, you know, a decent price. So I got this one. I got it for around, if I don't, I'm not mistaken, around $200 pre-owned. Oh my God, she's so tiny. Look at the size difference. Can you really tell? She's so tiny, but I love the metal finish. I actually love this shit. It is super exciting. I don't know why they sell them as pre-owned if they're literally brand new inside the box. I guess if someone just opened them to see if it was good inside and then sold it. Metal Build is a Bandai Tamashii Nations line of robot action figures. Their lineup is mainly Gundams, 
but they also got these Evangelion 2 that are amazing. It's a highly detailed and articulated figure, and just a clarification, not all the pieces are made out of metal, but it does have a significant amount of die-cast metal parts. I immediately fell in love with this figure. The amount of parts that it includes is amazing. I wasn't expecting so many small parts, hands, different weapons, like a big rifle, gun, two knives, even two cutters, so many other pieces. Even the base itself is cool as fuck. I want to do a little comparison with the EVA-01 figure I unboxed earlier. First, let's talk about price. The metal build Evangelion is 5,000 yen more expensive, released at 22,000 yen, and that's a lot for a small action figure, making it, without a doubt, the most expensive articulated Evangelion out there. But it's also the nicest looking and highest quality in my opinion. What the EVA-01 Dine Action has in size, the metal build gets all in detail and extra pieces. They both look awesome in my collection, but personally, now I wish I got the EVA-01 metal build instead of the Dynaction. It just looks so much better and I really, really fell in love with it. Also, I am pleasantly surprised to see it's super easy to pose. It keeps the pose in place instead of falling apart when you're trying to do something. I have a Code Geass Type-02 Guren metal build too, but the pose kind of falls apart when you're trying to, you know, pose him. That kind of thing where you have to put the arm or wing up and then slowly just falls back to neutral position. I don't know why I call the EVA-02 as a girl and the EVA-01 as a boy, but I do, okay? She's a girl, EVA-01 is a boy, even though, yes, I did watch the anime, I know. <laughs> nah. So now it's hanging one of the legs like in the picture i'm trying to copy the picture i think it looks pretty cool <laughs> why her hands are like this she's like dancing the macarena that's not the song of the macarena but next i got this little asuka nendoroid i don't i'm not a real big fan of nendoroids in general because all the nendoroids i have they're like very hard to pose or they uh, they kind of the the pose like falls apart if that makes sense like you would put the arm up and it would just like you know fall and it's like just in my opinion like kind of a pain to leave them in a cute pose but yeah i'm not a super big fan that's why i don't have a lot of androids but i can't i can't deny that they're very beautiful and when i see collections of people that have a lot of androids I, it makes me want to collect them because they look very nice together i got this pre-owned so i let's gonna hope we're gonna hope it's in a good condition if you guys didn't know, I have a super big Evangelion collection and especially with these new additions I got, it grew a lot. So I'm thinking of doing a Evangelion like a specific collection review. Like I mean kind of like showing you guys around all my Evangelion stuff. Um, so, Cause I think it's gonna be very fun. I also got an Asuka cosplay and she's like my number one waifu like of history. So I'm very excited to cosplay her and I'm gonna probably gonna be doing that other video later this month. So stay tuned for that. She looks so cute. Oh, this is what I don't like. <laughs> they just fall apart, I swear. Anyways, uh, she looks so adorable, doesn't she? She has this like angry face. This is the suit for the third movie, uh, The Rebuild of Evan Evangelion. This is my favorite suit, I think, overall. I love it. Oh my god, I'm already stressed out. <laughs> Um, but this is my, is my favorite Asuka suit, even more than the original one. I just love the purple legs and the white design on the, sh in the, on the arms. And I absolutely love how she looks a little bit more adult, more mature. She comes with the, how you call this? The, the pilot thing inside the, the Eva. So you can put her here. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm already mad. <laughs> this is why I don't buy this this Nendoroid. I mean, maybe it's, you guys have this too when you buy your own Nendoroids and you don't care. But for me, it's just so frustrating. Like I just hate it. I get so like stressed with it. Just don't let me buy it, Nendoroids. <laughs> Next time I unbox an Nendoroid on on this channel, just tell me I'm I'm stupid. We can do that. Holy fuck. And then put this.
I got it. Oh my god, just stick up to your fucking body, girl. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Look at that. Oh my god, no. Don't fall. There she is. Beautiful. I did it. I'm an Android expert. I'm an Android expert. Let's go. Okay, now we put her down and we're gonna display her like this and never move her ever again. All right, so the last thing Evangelion related I got is this little acrylic stand. I got this one on Etsy. I doubt it's like officially licensed. But I know, I love this drawing. It's so beautiful. Look at that, so pretty. Yeah, it's not licensed because the it's like a little pixelated. And it looks good. Let me see how we opened it, boys. We got it. There we go. I can tell it still has plastic on it, protection plastic, because it looks a little foggy, but I couldn't get rid of it with my nails. So this is how it's gonna look. <laughs> I actually love this drawing. I think they sold like all this outfit, like the Fila t-shirt, the I don't know, the bag, the jacket, all of these they, they sold. Even even the sneakers. I tried to find these shoes on eBay for myself, but they only had like very big sizes. I fucking love all these like streetwear collabs they do with Evangelion. They look so fucking sick. I love their fucking style i want to look like her i want her outfit man i want to i want to be asuka is that too much to ask i love this it's so pretty i'm actually happy with it and that's it for today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed all the stuff that i was opening i am very happy with everything i bought except an android maybe i mean i just it's, it looks so pretty like it is so cute and i love the aesthetic of it but i just I don't know how you guys do it. How do, is it that I'm unlucky and my Nendoroids come always like kind of broken, they fall apart? Or do you guys just pose them really easy? Maybe I'm just being unlucky, but every Nendoroid I've ever gotten, they just like fall apart, I swear. You're trying to put the arm and it fucking falls apart. I hate it. <laughs> so yeah, but I'm so happy with the, the metal build and the big ass. Eva 01, it's just so pretty. I love them so much. I am very happy with them. I'm gonna have to do some reorganizing on my shelves uh, because I don't have space right now for them. I wanna put all my Evangelion stuff together and I'm gonna do a video showing all my Evangelion collection so you guys can get a, a look at everything and a, you know, a nice look on it, a nice detailed look on everything. Oh, fight. I got more tired fighting with the Nendoroid that I. I got tired, like you know that exhausted from building the the metal build on the other stuff. It was, that was fun, you know. It was like a like a puzzle, but then end of it was just like my soul left my body. It really did. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys had fun. I with this more relaxed uh, unboxing video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.